morning, Fiber friends. Welcome to day three of Vlogmas. I'm in a different spot in my house today for a couple of reasons. The first, my husband is watching Premier League, uh, so soccer, football, depending on where you live, and it's a little noisy, so I'm not gonna film out there, but I also need to cut it short because I'm during a break um, during between the halves because our club, Manchester City, is playing Tottenham Hot, Hot, Hot Spurs, hot, hot Spurs, Spurs, um, and I want to go back and watch it. I am also in this room because I've been sorting through all of my fiber stash to figure out what I want to spin for next. And then I just film in here so you could kind of see my little crafting space, my sewing machines back there. This shelf I got from a buy nothing group on Facebook. Somebody was just ready to get to part with it and gifted it to me. The really cool thing is that she made it herself. So it's been really great for like, those are some of my naturally dyed skeins, roving, roving, sewing stuff. So it's pretty handy. Should we open advents? Okay. So my two mini skein advents are here. We'll start with my scrappy advent from Lori. I love these boxes. I'm gonna save them for next year. They're so cute. All right, today's color is a Targi sock. We love a Targi sock base. I love to spin Targi. It's a type of sheep, right? By Oink Pigments. The colorway is after all this time. And it's a local dyer to Lori, hand dyed in Indianapolis. Oh, got a chocolate. And here's the ball for today. Grays, creams, and a pop of green, which is gonna be the perfect connection between the tonal gray, the tonal green from yesterday. I like it, Lori. All right, and I'm gonna eat this pretty quick. And then number two is my D stash, Naughty Pine, that I purchased, and Chris has been uh, wrapping them up for me. Today's bag is from Larissa Loden, who is a jewelry designer here in Minnesota. The uh, bag says, instructions included, how to be a bad B. I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay. So day three is Autumn Glow, continuing that brown, bronzy color. It looks pretty similar. I, I can't wait to compare it to day one. Looks like day one to me, but very pretty. I like it, no complaints. I am also working on my two socks, the stripes a day, 24 stripe a day. I ended up pulling out my Woolens and Nash one this morning. I was using the pattern that came with it. And for me, it's just not what I wanna be knitting on right now. I found it to be a little fussy. And if I'm not paying attention, I had to double back on my stitch count. So I just ripped it out and I'm gonna do vanilla knitting. So I started with 64. Uh, I kept the cuffs and then I dropped down to 60. So I know that that'll work on my foot. And then I know exactly where to cut in for the afterthought heel. So that'll be easy peasy. So I need to get caught up on that today. Chris and I, my husband, are just gonna do house stuff today. I had a wreath get delivered to me in the mail by one of my coworkers. And so I'm gonna make that wreath and put it on our fence. So maybe you'll see that today or tomorrow. And I think we're gonna go for a hike at a nearby state park just to get out of the house. I will probably bring my knitting with me. I have a beautiful sister Heather bag that drapes over the arm perfectly and it's great for walking and knitting. So maybe you'll see some footage from that. But otherwise, not much is happening here today. Lots of knitting time. I hope you have a great Sunday and I'll check in with you later. This is Vlogmas. <laughs> Yum.
today's sock stripes. Here is freckled whimsy. I always want to call it speckled. Freckled whimsy. The blue is today, so one, two, three. Both of those. And then, like I said earlier, I decided that the wool and zanosh pattern was just not doing it for me. And then I saw a picture of it later and it's really cute, but I just, I'm happier with where I am. So I ripped all the way back out to the ribbing and I'm doing vanilla socks. And I love these colors. So I did a 64 stitch cast on. I ended up doing four decreases as I switched back to knitting and then I'm doing 60 stitches all the way around. There's 72, I think, on these ones for Chris. So those socks are done. Haven't had a chance to pick up my anthology blanket at all, anthology throw. Um, but I've been really busy working on my test knit, the Funfetti Raglan, and I'll just show it to you all now. I, I have six days to finish it. Both sleeves are done. The body is pretty, there's like a good chunk of the body done probably need to do six more inches and then the ribbing which is fine there's no decreases it's just doing the color work but it's pretty the raglan's beautiful the color work's beautiful i learned a lot of new skills working on this but i'm also really ready for it to be done um i'm gonna love the finished object i'm going to love wearing it but i might be giving it to my brother but that's a tbd but i have so many other things i want to cast on and I just want to work on my admin stuff. So I'm very ready to get this one off the needles. So we went hiking today. Actually, I'm going to just tell you all. I fell down the stairs. I, My husband and I were upstairs. We were getting ready to... We changed, went for a hike. I was walking down the wood stairs in my wool socks. And I slipped and landed right on my ass. And it hurts. So I'm icing it right now. But we ended up still going for the hike because it was good to move. We did just about four miles at a nearby state park. And then we did a bunch of food prep for the week. There's so many vegetables. I love vegetables. I eat meat, but I prefer vegetables. So there's some footage of all of the vegetables Chris and I chopped up together. We're going to make dinner. I think Chris is doing chicken and dumplings for dinner. And then we'll watch TV. And I'm just going to haul ass on this. All right. I hope you all are well. I hope you had a good Sunday and I will talk to you on day four of Vlogmas.